For the next 21 days, I will be using this M4 Base Mac Mini alongside with this Vision Pro exclusively. Guess how much this is? How much? Just guess. Like 2000 $6,000. Since I spent all my money on the Vision Pro, I used Apple's paper bag that they gave me for free to carry around this $6,000 Vision Pro. I use it at my local cafe, at KFC, at the studio, at the beach, in the car, at the pizza shop, making every other human on their laptops look like a caveman. I got the Apple Vision Pro and the Mac Mini to work without a monitor on the first go and it works every single time. And then once you're in the Vision Pro, you just go into control panel and then you search for the Mac Mini and it's there every single time. Uh, and it works flawlessly. Even though this was just a test to see if it worked, I actually stayed on this setup for a whole one hour in that same spot because I couldn't believe my eyeballs. I don't recommend you buying this unless you have money literally coming out of your ass. It's not just the amazing tech I'm blown away by. Enter. This is crazy! But it's just the thought of unlocking genuine productivity. After my first session with the Vision Pro and Mac Mini, I was so pumped to work. I drove to my nearest coffee shop with wife, whipped out the future from my bag and got set up to change the world. This is 1969 <laughs> set up. This is 2069 set up. Dude, it gets really clear. Man, and then can I come here and I can just, I can just scroll through this like as if this is a freaking iPad. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> can work, you got UFC on the side. Dude, I am living life right now. You have no freaking idea. Honey, can I ask you something? Huh? Is it kind of normal now that you've seen me wear this, using this and stuff? <laughs> I'm genuinely being more productive. Just being able to dial out the world, turn on Do Not Disturb, shove in noise cancelling buds, and get in the zone at will was insane. Once we got out of the cafe, our Tesla sentry mode filmed someone hitting us. Don't ever hit and run from a Tesla. There are eight cameras pointing in every direction and saving the footage once someone touches the car. So I got home and sorted out the insurance, taking notes on the Vision Pro. You were hit by a truck. Now, after my first proper long-term session at the cafe, I was super disappointed to the point where I thought I might not make this video because it was so uncomfortable. It just felt like someone had an iron and they burnt it onto my forehead or something like that. Like it was just, it hurt my eyes. It was, everything was fatiguing. I'm like, nah, I can't work like this. Then I remembered that Apple gives you this thing called the loop band. Apple being Apple, they made it super easy to change this band. So I came home, there's these little orange tabs, you pull it, Boom, you pull the other one, that's it. Comes off and then you bring this aside and you just clip, clip, that's it. So I can still put it on easily. It just doesn't look as cool. I did a solid two hour session, took them off, no fatigue in the eyeball, no iron on the forehead. I felt totally fine. The temptation I have with this Mac Mini and Vision Pro setup is to sell all my monitors and desktop PC and have a clean desk set up with a virtual screen. If you don't know, a clean working environment actually helps with productivity. Do you know that? In the same way, you need to declutter your software. So I partnered up with Clean My Mac to show you how easy it is to declutter hundreds of gigabytes of junk. I thought my M1 Macs would never slow down. It didn't really slow down, but I saw the fans kicking on more often than not. This Clean My Mac app completely decluttered my MacBook Pro last year, and now it feels brand new and the fans don't kick on anymore. Think of this tool as a detox, but for software. 
Here are the three features I used right away. The first one is My Clutter. Now this dives into all your downloads, eliminating all the redundant, useless files and duplicates. Now cleanup is actually the most useful one for me because this actually goes deep into your Mac and clears all the cache that you're never gonna find, by the way. You're never gonna find this cache. The last one I enjoy using is the Moonlock Malware Protection. Macs are still vulnerable to malware. This purges all dodgy threats and protects it from future malware as well. Keep your Mac tidy with Clean My Mac. Try it for seven days for free and use my link for a 20% off. Let's get back to year 2069 with my Vision Pro. I'll show you. Jeffrey. Can you see? Oh, what the freak? What happened? What I you can see? see like your whole phone. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. It I've was seen like, one. So But cool. I'm surprised you've never seen one. I've never seen one. Not yeah, do you know why? Apple. Do you know why? Because no one's bought one. Yeah. This Vision Pro is so good, but I hate how Apple did not think about comfort first for this device, especially because you got a strap to your face. Like that's how you use it. Both this and the AirPods Max are amazing standalone devices, but they are just not comfortable to use for its intended purpose. This loop band literally saved this Vision Pro from being returned that day. So far, I've used my Mac Mini on the moon, on Bora Bora and Mount Hood. But I wanted to know how it compared to the real thing. So I strapped my Vision Pro into the seat and drove to the actual beach. I'm actually at the beach. <laughs> oh, here we go. Dude, this is nicer. Like this world is actually nicer than the real thing. You know what I noticed myself doing? Looking at things and clicking on stuff on my Mac when it doesn't work like that. Look at this guy. Whilst I'm here, I want to talk to you about what the Mac Mini is like as a computer. It's absolutely incredible. The editing has not stuttered once. Like, I can still scrub, I can play, and it does not lag. And the thing is, I'm shooting on 4K HEVC, which will make my desktop PC chuck a fit at 50 frames per second. The only time that I actually had issue and I had a hiccup, it was when I tried to do After Effects. It actually made it shat its pants and I found out it's because it needed 50 gigabytes of RAM to render that. So my M1 Max, it did it relatively easily, but still my M1 Max has 64 gigs of RAM. Probably 99.9% .9 of the people watching this video, this is the perfect desktop. Like seriously, best bang for buck. This thing, no, worst bang for buck. This is only for millionaires and tech YouTubers. That's it. Why the Vision Pro with the Mac Mini? So I just wanted to know, is the M4 base model enough for my workflow? And the Vision Pro is because I've always wanted the Vision Pro. I could not buy it because I was not a tech YouTuber, but now I am. So this whole video was edited on this Mac Mini with this Vision Pro as its monitor. So I had the opportunity to experience both of these devices being actually used for work and entertainment. You see, this Mac Mini is Apple's cheapest desktop computer. And the Vision Pro is Apple's most expensive spatial computer. The annoying thing that Apple does best, this Mac Mini cannot replace this Vision Pro and the Vision Pro cannot replace any desktop Mac. And it's the same thing how the iPhones, the iPads and their MacBook Pros all of that, they've made it in a way so that you can't really replace each other. And they make you want to have all of them. Because if you're gonna ask $6,000, this thing better do everything. You know, it better like take my kids to school and make me coffee in the morning, but no. And I just feel like Apple's done that on purpose, which is annoying because the, the technology in this thing is absolutely mind blowing. Unfortunately, this thing, I have to sell this thing now. However, this thing, as much as it's not worth the asking price, it does genuinely promote productivity. There was a two and a half hour session I did at a pizza shop. Because I had noise cancelling earbuds on and I completely made it a virtual background for me, I was in the zone to the point where I actually forgot where I was when I took it off. I've literally spent two hours and my battery died. That dual loop band thing works. 
everyone looks at you like what is this spaz dog doing after like 10 minutes in like a different environment i actually fully zoned out of where i was so when i took it off i was like whoa i was like disoriented because i thought i was at home for a second is that worth six thousand dollars no not only is this vision pro a productivity tool for me but every night it becomes a entertainment thing and I think the reason why I used it was because I spent so much money on it. So it's like, I better freaking use it. I better use it every waking second of my life. I guarantee soon the magic of this technology will fade away and it's just gonna end up being a heavy ass thing stuck on your face that costs $6,000. Now, do I want to keep this? Absolutely, because it does this brain trickery. I don't know for how long it's gonna do that. I don't know. If you are insane, and you would like to do the setup that I've done with the portable power bank that's actually got AC. This is pretty crazy. Uh, I found it on Amazon. I'll, I'll link it in the description. And you've got money just in your bank account. You don't know what to do with it and you want to do something stupid. Yeah, I'll leave all this stuff in the description. Do I recommend it? No, I really want the Vision Pro to be accessible to the masses. They need to get this price down to like $1,500, reduce the weight to like 50%, get rid of that stupid screen at the front, and I think it will be compelling. The Vision Pro Air, I will buy that, I'll buy two of them, and I'll probably give one away. Another complaint that I kind of had for the Vision Pro is like they, some, they don't have basic apps. Like Netflix is missing, YouTube is missing, Messenger is missing, and the reason why these basic apps are missing is because you're charging six grand, bro. So the developers are like, I'll make apps for the Vision Pro if you get more users. But the users are like, I will buy the product if it's more affordable. So it's kind of like the problem's on you, Apple. Make it cheaper, then people will buy it. And if people buy it, the developers will develop for it. Meta are doing it right, okay? The reason why they've got so many developers and users and buyers, they're selling, they're selling this thing like hotcakes is because Meta is absorbing the cost. They're actually selling this product at a loss. Did you know that? I think if Apple is serious about the future of spatial computing, they need to absorb the cost or do something to increase its range. Like, think about it. I bought two of these, one for my wife, one for myself. And I could barely, barely buy one of these. Now I can't pay my mortgage next month. And that's my daddy. What does your daddy do? Unbox do you... with me. So daddy's job is unboxing stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, subscribe!